doctors have tried to stop what's happened and they put up a big fight, but you know, big brother is constantly there and they rarely take our, our advice. My name is Gary Levin. I'm located in Riverside, California, and I'm affiliated with Loma Linda University. But I think the COVID thing is going to make some good changes. Telemedicine has really caught on. And the insurance companies are actually paying for it now. They were very reticent to do it before the pandemic. And within one week of that pandemic, the switch turned. The insurance companies like the cash flow to go one way towards them. But years ago, not even years ago, six months ago, they were reticent to do telemedicine because they thought it was going to drive the price of medicine up. And it turns out it doesn't. Uh, they thought it was going to increase uh, patient visits, telemedicine visits. And what they found out is that a lot of things can be handled by telemedicine. It doesn't actually drive up the patient visit to the clinic. And the benefit at the other end of it is the healthcare costs go down because people are seen right away and they don't wait to get really sick. It's such a complicated system and so intertwined that when you jiggle a little part of it, the rest of it can just fall apart. I've seen that happen many times. My career has been long enough that I've seen everything play out the way I predicted it would be and tried to stop it. You know, there's doctors have tried to stop what's happened and they put up a big fight, but you know, Big Brother is constantly there and they rarely take our, our advice. It's been all kinds of chaos from the federal level from the CDC, from NIH, to your doctor. No one knows who tells the truth. The regulators want to regulate, the doctors want to treat, and the government wants to be a doctor.